Hi and welcome. I'm Terry Mecklin, Director of the Membership of Membership and Community Development with the Bartlett Chamber and co-host of the Heartbeat of Bartlett, a podcast that was designed to talk about small businesses in Bartlett. We couldn't do this podcast without uh, our co-sponsor, my co-sponsor, Maria McClendon, and First South um, Financial Sponsorship and V2 Media doing all the hard work behind the scenes. And Maria, if you'll introduce yourself, and then to. we'll have our guests introduce themselves and our what they do. Our very illustrious and wonderful guests. Yes. Hi, everyone. I'm Maria McClendon. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for First South Financial. And First South Financial is a huge fan of the city of Bartlett and a huge fan of the Bartlett Area Chamber of Commerce. So it's our pleasure to to sponsor this podcast and bring you information about the small business community in Bartlett um, and talk about the heartbeat of Bartlett because as we all know, small businesses are the heartbeat of every community. Um, and we've got a couple of really awesome guests here today. We've got um, folks from the city of Bartlett, and I will allow them to introduce themselves. Debbie, okay. if you'll go first. Yes. Well, my name is Debbie Delano, and I'm the Director of Community Relations for the city of Bartlett. I've been with the city for over 26 years, and um, love my job, love what I do, love the city of Bartlett. And just recently, because there's so much involved with my job, we have hired someone new, and I will let Todd tell him about him. I'm Todd Halford. I am the Chief Communications Officer for the City of Bartlett. Uh, I've been with the city about 26 years, and up until a few weeks ago, I was a, a police officer for the City of Bartlett. So uh, I've been uh, been on the streets for or in the area for a long time. <laughs> How was that? Was that, yeah. was that okay? Yeah, it was great. All right. Yeah. Um, so the show is called The Heartbeat of Bartlett, and in many ways, Debbie, uh, with 26 years with the city, you have yes. been the beating heart of the city of Bartlett. Can you talk to us a little bit about um, the specifics of your role, the kinds of things that you do, and what has changed in those 26 years that you've been here? Well, I have seen a lot of changes mm -hmm. over the 26 years. So my job started out just to promote the city of Bartlett to businesses and actually the community. And it involved around doing special events. And I actually started in parks. Mm -hmm. And then um, when Mayor McDonald became mayor, he appointed me to his staff. So I have worked for four mayors. And now I'm working for Mayor David Parsons, who we love. And we are just all... Bartlett's growing. We want to grow with the community. We want to grow with our population. Um, some of the main things, I guess, which has changed is we are so much, social media has become a huge, huge focus. Mm -hmm. When I first started working for the city, we didn't have social media. A lot of it was print ads and TV and things like that. So now it's social media. And that's one of the reasons that uh, the, this new administration decided we needed a chief communication officer, and Todd is a pro at that. Mm -hmm. He yeah. uh, started with the police department and grew grew that population on social media so much that uh, Mayor Parsons decided that he would like him on his immediate staff. So now we're kind of tag teaming this. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Debbie's job has just gotten so big over the years that uh, it was too much for one person. Yeah. So uh, like Debbie said, I've been running the uh, police department side social media since 2009. Mm -hmm. um, we've had really good response with it. Um, I've had some... Uh, uh, some, some success with it. Some yeah. success with it. So uh, once uh, they said that... Don't you be know, humble. Tell us a little bit. Okay. About it, it's really good. It's really... I love memes. Um, I'm <laughs> yeah. a meme junkie, so I sit all night long changing memes. And, and you've got a and, great and, sense of humor. I well, mean, right. I love... Um, some mm -hmm. sarcasm in there sometimes, but it's... I love reading your posts. Well, thank you. For, yeah, I mean, you've got to have the funny stuff yep. in order to beat the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, people can actually see the serious stuff. So uh, I'm going to be handling social media and like the digital marketing for the city um, while Debbie handles the events. And uh, like I said, we're going to be uh, both be on hand for all of the events. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. So uh, one of the things that I have always loved about the city of Bartlett is how engaged the community is. And, and I mean, it's really evident with the membership of the Bartlett Chamber of Commerce as well. Like there's, there's engagement, there's excitement about being involved and taking part. So can you talk to us a little bit about why, why you think that is? I mean, I think it's really unique. I don't think that exists in all cities and, and I'd love to hear your perspective. Well I think one of the main things that Bartlett has, they have a lot of people who were born there, they went to Bartlett High School, their their kids are there, now their kids' families are there and I think it's just you've got that invested in the community there, mm -hmm. there's so much of that there, plus we all know the small businesses are, are the root of your, your community and, uh, and our city government works hand in hand not only with the chamber, with economic development and things like that, so I think it's just you've have this hometown proud of the Bartlett community 
And um, I think that a lot of, like I said, a lot of our citizens, this, this is their hometown. Yeah, and, and they truly love it. Yes, and it's amazing how many employees have graduated from Bartlett High School. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that makes Bartlett really special. It, it, it really is a very special community. It is. Todd, from your perspective, like, you know, talking about the shift to social media, engagement takes on a whole different meaning when you talk about social media. Can you talk a little bit about um, how you've seen the incredible community of Bartlett engage with the city of Bartlett on social media? Uh, we are so quick to get out information, um, whether it be the police department, the fire department, or the city, instead of, you know, having to wait for tomorrow's newspaper mm -hmm. or wait for the 10 o'clock, you know, news broadcast on whatever your favorite station is, we've got the information out within, you know, five or 10 minutes. Um, and I think it's just a, a reflection of society. We want that instant gratification yeah. uh -huh. and um, we're going to provide it. As mm -hmm. soon as I get the information, I'm going to put it out there. We were working on the um, some events uh, and I got a, a nice list of vendors and as soon as I had you know the vendors confirm and as soon as we had the music confirmed um, man, we put it out there mm -hmm. and uh, it, it caught fire where do you find most of the most people are following you Facebook Instagram is there one more than the other with, mm -hmm. with us it's generally Facebook mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think that our population is more comfortable with Facebook now we are branching out into Instagram mm -hmm. um, we've seen a we've seen a pretty decent uh, raise over the last few weeks uh, in Instagram. Uh, we post on Next Door, Next door. which is specifically place. designed uh -huh. for the neighborhoods the themselves. Yeah. And I can target specific neighborhoods if there's construction mm -hmm. or something going on that only pertains to them. And uh, we're on X too. Okay. So uh, shameless plug, uh, if you can tell our audience how they can follow you. Uh, City of Bartlett TN on Facebook. <laughs> City of Bartlett right. TN on Instagram, um, Twitter is not it's X. I'm sorry, X the is same. The, same. the same. And uh, next doors with next door, w us being a government organization, we can only send out information. Mm -hmm. So we're not looking to see what all the other neighborhoods yeah. are doing. We can only blast out information. But gotcha. you can always respond to any of our posts. Awesome. And we use social media more, not just to get events out, but we also use it for in case of emergency. Like last summer we had the storm, so when the lights were out in different places and things like that. So it's a, a great tool for that instant news that needs to get out mm -hmm. in a hurry. And like Todd said, he can target some certain areas Which is really nice. to get some of that. And and our people, our citizens love the garbage. I mean, they love to know when their garbage yes. is going to be yes. picked yes. up. They love our garbage people. Solid waste gets probably more compliments than any other oh, department. Wow. And uh, so that's information we can get out on social media. Because if we had to just do that in print, it would yeah. not get out By there. By the time it got mm -hmm. out, it would be over. It would be yeah. old news, yeah. Right. And you can keep pushing it so they won't forget or they look it up or whatever. And plus, too, answering the questions is yeah. a huge yeah. thing, too. Yeah. yeah, it's Engagement. nice that it's nice that they can actually engage. Like, there's actually sure. a dialogue. It's not just a one way of information. Yeah. We uh, had an event last night at uh, the venue, the old Bartlett Station Municipal mm -hmm. Center. It's now called the venue. Um, it is a cornhole league uh, oh, wow. that we found out about. Um, it was really cool. I showed up, took some photos, took a couple of videos, and posted them on our social media pages. And you know, first thing this morning, I got messages going, "Hey, uh, where's their contact information? How can I sign <laughs> up? You know, how much is it?" So, uh, and I can respond to that so very cool um, yeah it goes both ways yeah so the events at the city that the city of Bartlett puts on mm -hmm. are spectacular um, and you do a lot of them I do um, can you talk a little bit about um, can you walk us through maybe like a calendar the calendar oh, of wow. the uh, <laughs> event Ooh. big event I got a list <laughs> the big event I got a list you got a list well we Smart. have we have a uh, some main events that we do citywide. And then um, our parks department is branching out this year and going to do some little micro events in their different parks. As we have 29 parks within the city of Bartlett, so which amazing. a lot of people aren't aware of that, plus our green lines and things. Mm -hmm. So so Todd just gave me a list. I did. <laughs> <laughs> he came prepared. Always prepared. That's right. Were you a Boy Scout? Uh, uh, <laughs> so what? Were you a Boy Scout? No, no, no. <laughs> but, but, but I like Girl Scout cookies. I okay. do like Girl Scout cookies. That's a Girl Scout. But some of the main events that we do, uh, we work with American Legion on some events, and they're actually having one this um, third Friday. Friday, 
and it's to honor the Vietnam veterans, and it's um, at Veterans Park. We do Memorial Day at Veterans Park. Uh, we work with the chamber on the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. um, we have a fishing rodeo for children for 4th of July. It's on July 3rd is when we do our fireworks, and um, then we have a big festival in the fall, and this year it's October 4th and 5th, and then we do our Christmas parade. So those are some of the main events, but we have a, a lot of events in between all those events. And uh, this year, kind of the goal is to have 200 events. Wow. So, wow. But wow. Those events would, would include also our police uh, department does like a police, Citizens Police Academy, Youth Police Academy. So it would include some of those events also wow. in that number. So that is the goal. Wow. I, so had, no, I had no idea. I, I, didn't either. I mean, I had no idea that there were that many. I didn't yes. either. There was always That's something incredible. going on. Yes. Yes. So That's awesome. this, this program, the Heartbeat of Bartlett, is focused on the small business community. And I you and I have talked mm -hmm. offline a little bit about how when there is a city event going on, the small business community turns up and and puts their heart into yes. making it a great event. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I think their, their main event that they do that would be uh, through the farmer's market would be one of them, and uh, we, which we partner with the chamber. Then the other one would be the festival in the fall. Mm -hmm. And we charge um, $80 for a booth, 10 by 10 space. They can promote their business in that booth, whether it's a at home business or a brick and mortar business or something, they can promote it in ways like that. But we uh, try to promote, Todd and I have started doing some promotion of going to some different restaurants to promoting some of our local restaurants and stuff and getting that out there on social media. So we really try to engage with that community because we, you know, we want them to be successful. We mm -hmm. want them to yeah. stay in Barlett because if they're successful, then someone else is going to come in and maybe they're going to be successful. So it's just kind of like that domino effect. Yeah, it's a virtuous yes. cycle. Mm -hmm. Yes. And a lot of people say they like being in Barlett because we are a safe community. And we take pride in that. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, either of you, do you have a favorite event? The, the, the city of <laughs> I think Todd does. Barlett Night Out. Oh, tell I, us about I that I love one. Bartlett Night Out. So uh, this year is going to be October the 1st. Uh, it is, hey, your com your neighborhood is in charge of organizing your event. And all you have to do is send us an email. And I'm going to come out. I'm going to bring the police department out. I'm going to bring the fire department oh, out. Uh, I'm going to bring, uh, you know, some elected officials out. Um, but it's my favorite because I get to sample everybody's uh, little potluck cooking. So is it on the same night? All, all on the same night. So we'll start rolling out wow. about 5.30, mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, and uh, I'm usually home and stuffed and uh, you know, <laughs> full of cake and pies by about 10 o'clock. Ice cream. Uh, oh, so ice cream. Like ice a cream. neighborhood <laughs> block ice cream. parties, yeah. basically. Yeah. Right. And we'll that's do, we'll so hit, cool. we'll hit uh, uh, 10 or 12 within wow. that time frame. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not long, but it's yeah. enough for me to get a piece of cake, say hi, and, you know, move do you on do to the next like one. a full day fast before? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There's no, train, there's no training for something like that. No prep time. <laughs> no. I guess one of my, my favorite event would probably be Veterans Day, and I think it's just more a very meaningful event. It's a very, it's not a hard event to put together, but it's so meaningful. And it started out years ago where it was probably a handful of people around Veterans Park. And now there's over 250 people that come to this event. Wow. And what's so uh, meaningful to me is seeing some of the veterans in their uniforms. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it, right now, I, don't, I think we've lost all of our World War II veterans, but back in the day, they would help lay the wreath and stuff. So that's one of the most meaningful events. Probably one of the most fun events, and Todd will disagree, probably is the 4th of <laughs> July. It's just, it's very stressful when you're doing the <laughs> countdown for the fireworks to start, but uh, it's just fun seeing all the families out yeah. there and having yeah. fun and it's big. all that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that's So really Todd, what's it. your favorite then? Well, he just if said it's Bart not the fourth. Of, oh well, that's Bartlett right. Bartlett night out. I like now I like the fishing rodeo too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm an early bird. You know, yeah. I'm up at like 4 a.m. anyway. So you know, me getting out there at you know 5 5:30 is not a big deal. But I do like the fishing rodeo. <laughs> All right. So what's the craziest um, thing you think that's ever happened with an event or with an event? Uh -huh. well, I guess the craziest thing is one year the parks department we decided that we were going to drop Easter eggs from a helicopter. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and we will never do that again. Oh, no. So you <laughs> there tell was us like, Yeah, what was the outcome of that? Uh, like, lost children looking for Easter oh. eggs everywhere. I mean, it was just, it was like, oh my God, where did this idea come from? <laughs> so we will never do that event again like that. Did the Easter eggs survive? Um, I mean, the plastic pieces eggs, of them. pieces of them. <laughs> so, But that's been years ago, and I, that was hilarious. just like, 
uh, one of those off the wall kind of events. It sounds great at the time, right? This would be kind of fun, but you forget, you know, when you drop them and the helicopter's going, and it didn't work. A vortex of plastic eggs. It's like, no, this isn't going to work. Oh, that's funny. Todd, do you have a crazy story? You know, the fishing rodeo, I think, is great. You know, every once in a while, somebody will lose their footing trying to help Junior get the get the catfish in, and it's not super deep, but it's always always good for a laugh. Watch somebody come out with wet boots and what's so funny is you see the kids and they've got these big catfish on stringers and they're just like dragging them <laughs> and everything and you know and then they're like then but then they don't want to touch them <laughs> it's a good event yeah it's like now what what's your favorite city of Bartlett event Terry oh gosh um you know I don't know I'm fairly new to this area um I come from another area but um I think the Bartlett um uh, festival that mm -hmm. you do I mean it's such a great turnout there's so many people there it's always hot which I know you moved it this year we did. so it's a little bit hopefully cooler yeah. Yeah. um but um, how many spots do you have there the um event? as far as vendor spots there's like over a, there's like 120 we can make a few more if we need to we've incorporated mayor parsons when he was still an alderman incorporated a barbecue a backyard barbecue contest and that has really grown where i think he maxes out at 40 teams oh, now I didn't know that. I and did. uh and so we try to do some really good local cover band music on friday night and we get a huge response from that but it, it seems it, it it has grown and over that's the, the years. fall festival yes mm -hmm. that's that's my mm -hmm. favorite one um yes. it's it, it used to always be right around my birthday weekend. Yes. So, <laughs> and then you did that. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, does the Bartlett Chamber still bring the stagecoach to mm -hmm. the yes. fall festival? Mm -hmm. Yes. That was always one of my favorite parts. Yes, I remember cleaning it. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but my favorite part was sneaking in to the stagecoach. Yeah. And like, <laughs> taking pictures. <laughs> yes. I think we have a few of those. Well, now we've, now, now we've got the hay bale set up in front of us. Yeah. So we can with yeah, it can pose. It's not as frowned upon anymore. I love it. What are some unexpected things or things that have surprised you over the course of your role, Debbie? And then, Todd, I know that you're newer to this side of it, but I'm sure you've had some unexpected and surprising things that have happened in your tenure with the city as well. Um. <laughs> well, whenever you do an event, you have to have a plan B. Right? Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. And, of course. Uh, and, and if your event goes off, even if something happens and everybody that was there still has a great time, they have no clue what yeah. you just went through. Yeah. Except for one time. The fireworks did not happen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what happened? There was, you know, they're all computerized. Come to find out, there was a wire that had unattached. Oh, no. And they were like, 30 minutes late, maybe? I think it was, oh, a, little, least I think it was a little more than that. And it, was right, it was right at the time when texting was big, real big and stuff. And it was like, everybody was going, why are the fireworks not going? Why? Well, it's like, I don't know. You're, we asked the vendor at the time who, we have a different firework vendor now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, you don't have a plan B? And oh, he goes, no. no. Like, oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, but they did go off a little later. A little bit. And, uh, so that was probably I mean, that's still a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Because that's a, that's real nervous when you're counting down because you want the music to sync with the fireworks mm -hmm. and we've got right. it down now. And but anyway, that was probably the worst unexpected thing that happened. But but and then again, that was something that was totally out of my control. Right. right? right. And when it's not in your control, it's and like oh it's my gosh, harder. it's very hard. And I would guess though that even though there was this snafu mm -hmm. i would guess that the the citizens of bartlett the community was still very forgiving and uh it depends on what you read on twitter that night <laughs> okay <laughs> but what we did is that vendor worked with us and did something with us on oh, our at our nice. festival to kind of make up for that and then uh, then it was time to go out for a bit again. So we Yeah. Were, so. Yeah. Well, Todd, you laughed as if there were multiple. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like he had a good story. Well, yeah, okay, so, uh, again, I spent the last, you know, quarter century with the police department. Right. So let me say... Um, 
Are there some you can do, tell us? Okay, so let's do this. Um, so for the last few years, uh, besides running social media for the department, I've also done community outreach and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've handled the uh, Citizens Police Academies, the Youth Police Academies, you know, the training, um, all that stuff. And I guess the biggest surprise to me is when we kicked back up the Citizens Academies, you know, several years ago, it caught on like wildfire. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the citizens were, I mean, hungry for that information. Before COVID, I had an 18 month wait wow. Wow. just to wow. get into the academy. Wow. Um, to the point now where, uh, well, when I just left, um, we're doing a clergy academy uh, that starts in January, specifically for you know members mm -hmm. of the church um, mm -hmm. and two adult academies, one in the spring, one in the fall, and three youth academies awesome. during the summer. So tell us a little bit of what are these academies? Okay, Go so ahead. they are, we present information to the kids and to the adults like you would learn in the police academy. Wow. Okay, but we, but we, you know, we, it's geared toward the lamb. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we teach them how to pull fingerprints. We teach them about SWAT. They get to meet the canines. We teach them about criminal profiling. Uh, I'm actually going to teach a course uh, Thursday night um, on defensive tactics, and then we're going to run through um, some uh, criminal cases that, uh, that I've worked over the years. Uh, I bet they do love that. I yeah. bet, it's, I bet yeah. kids yeah, and, and, and adults the response, love that. The response to it has just been amazing. Um, and, of course, the instructors are great. So. <laughs> Not just me. Uh, there are others. They are great. Uh, there are others. If you do say so yourself. Yeah. 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 But I'm sure they are. Wonderful. They're great. They're great. Um, so we are... Um, it, it always surprises me I know. how I just quickly the, the time goes. Um, so we are getting a little bit close to the end. So... We'll do a last question and then stay tuned, everybody, because we have got such an amazing <laughs> surprise for you coming up at the very end of the program. Um, so tell us one thing, each of you, that you just love about, it, it can, just something that you love either about your role or about the city of Bartlett itself? Well, about my role with the city, I love meeting people. Yeah. So I feel like I'm, I love being out in the community and the businesses and meeting all the people. As far as the city of Bartlett, it's a safe place to live. And it's just the, the passion and the commitment a lot of the citizens have for the city of Bartlett. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like they're hometown proud. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they love Bartlett and uh, we love Bartlett. And, we hope everyone comes to Bartlett. <laughs> I, and truly, it's not my question to answer, but I love that passion too. Like mm -hmm. I, I, that is what. I, so honestly, I don't live in the city limits mm -hmm. of Bartlett, but I consider Bartlett to be my home. I, I consider it to be my professional home and yes. like the place where my heart is. Mm -hmm. And it's because of that passion that you talk about. You know, mm -hmm. you yes. really can feel it from the people in the community, oh, and and how embraceive they are. Mm -hmm. And I, it's wonderful. Could you not find a real estate agent? Because I know one that we, could, we could get you in town. I, well, maybe you can hook me up after the show. I got you. Got you. <laughs> what about you, Todd? Uh, when I was uh, with the police department, I, I did a lot of recruiting. And mm -hmm. I would use the same spill every time because it's the absolute truth. The employees for the city, for the city of Bartlett, they're tight. Mm -hmm. We know each other. Yeah. Um, you know. All the firemen know all the policemen. Our kids played ball together. Oh, we all awesome. grew up here. We all went to school together. Um, it's just a tight community. It is a small town of 60,000 people mm -hmm. covering yeah. 32 square miles. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's just a, a family. That's and, awesome. and that's what we really like. That is awesome. It does feel like that. It really does feel like mm -hmm. when, you, uh, when you engage with the social media, it, it feels like you're engaging with your friends. Like It's just mm -hmm. that fun and... It's it you want to, not not that you, you have want to be to. a part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I had a, an appointment somewhere in East Memphis one day, and I was in there, and it was just like three people in the room, and this lady looks at me, she goes, "Oh, that's Bartlett." <laughs> 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 like, like okay. Well, so I that they it. they look at us as leaders in the community, mm -hmm. and they they just associate us with that a lot. And I love that even though this the Bartlett Chamber is not a part of the city, a lot of people confuse that and think that we're a mm -hmm. part of government. But you guys show up. Um, mm -hmm. I love oh, that yeah. you show up for our ribbon cuttings, mm -hmm. and you know you always welcome people into mm -hmm. this community because that that is important for them very to connect with you. Important. And I know in our ambassador. Um, 
cards that we give to everybody. We have the city. Mm -hmm. um, we have multiple people from the city because yeah. we yeah. want that. Um, I just love that union and that. Um, yeah. Well, we want time. people when people call. We want them to have a real person on the other end of the yes. phone that can answer their question, and they're not going to get take go from this person to this person yeah. to this person. And you guys that are just makes them feel like it's easy to do business in Bartlett. Mm -hmm. And it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Okay, right. are we ready? We're for ready. Our, so there is um, a new event for the city of Bartlett because of a phenomenon that is happening um, in just a couple of weeks on Je uh, I'm sorry, April the January. <laughs> on uh, April the 8th. April Monday, the 8th. April the 8th. Yes. There is going to be a total solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. I think we get about 90% here. 98. 98. 98. And that ain't bad. That's that ain't not bad. bad. That ain't bad. That's an A. That's an A. That's an A. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready? Ready. Okay. So first ready? of all, I would like to do a plug and say if you need um, solar eclipse glasses, you can get them at any First South Financial branch. Um, there are limited quantities available, so <laughs> make sure you stop into your local branch and pick up your solar eclipse glasses. Okay, are we ready? Go. Turn around, bright eyes. Is that when I was a kid? Yes. <laughs> Every now and then I fall apart. And then. And if you. Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh. Wait. no. Did I blow it or did yeah, you blow it? I did it right. Oh, then I blew it. Okay. okay let's start total again. eclipse of the park. There you go. We'll see you. Did that work on, better? Yes. Let's plug like it now. No. <laughs> <laughs> and if you only hold me tight. No. <laughs> it was so much better in the practice. <laughs> we shouldn't have practiced. They're not going to believe we practiced. We shouldn't I know. have practiced. I said <laughs> so put a plug in. We'll see everybody on Monday, um, April the 8th, uh, from 11 to 3 at uh, W.J. Freeman Park for the total eclipse of the park party. <laughs> There'll be food trucks. And the music, and we're excited. And the music and they is might not provided no. by me and Todd. No. And we <laughs> might get that song right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and thank you guys for joining thank us you. today. Oh my it was gosh, so, was so much, much fun. fun. It really you. was so much fun. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank All right, so go it. ahead. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and ring a ding ding. And make sure, uh, oh, well, and we've got to thank V2 Media for producing this awesome podcast. Um, if, if you are looking for a podcast, you should consider V2 Media because they're awesome at it. And they'll have make sure that you have a blast while you're doing it. Absolutely. And um, you, can find, you can find the Heartbeat of Bartlett on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere you find your, spot, your podcasts. And I'm certain We're gonna that share. it'll be shared on all of the City of Bartlett social media sites as well. I'll see if I can find time. <laughs> Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next Thank podcast. You Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.